Hey everyone, how's it going? Fireborn here, and today I've got quite the special treat for you guys because yesterday there was an event hosted by Team Cherry's Leth, better known as the voice of the Nailsmith, um, and it was related to Silksong spoilers. They've been doing a bunch of riddles actually, but just yesterday there was a riddle where when you completed it, you unlocked an archive that actually had Silk Song spoilers inside of it. So I am going to show you guys this riddle that Leth posted. Um, you can see the archive is right here, but here's the riddle. And this was posted just yesterday, just out of nowhere. <laughs> and you can see there, it's asking for a code. And eventually you work your way down and you get to a speaker and the speaker corresponds to a character in Silk Song. So, uh, 10 minutes after they posted this riddle, they actually posted this archive as well. You can see when you try to open it up, there's a password. So, obviously, when you complete the riddle, you get the password, you unlock the archive, and you get to see what exactly is inside, which we'll get to. So, we're given this to start with, okay? So we have W, X, Y, Z, which corresponds to actual letters that make sense. And we have R, C, I, U, S, okay? So I'm gonna try to go through this riddle and explain it step by step, just um, in a way that makes sense. This is the solution that people eventually came up with. If you wanna try and work it out on your own, feel free to pause the video, but it is something that was definitely a team effort in the community. It's not a super hard riddle to solve, but um, definitely not super challenging, but it is. it does call upon some more obscure knowledge that you might not have. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so we can see that uh, this first code does correspond to ferocious foes, but how do we get that? So we can see that the W, X, Y, Z at the end of this sequence corresponds to the W, X, Y, Z here. This is a fragment of this entire code. Now, this giant TCHSO sequence here, <laughs> this might be a bit confusing if you're not following Team Cherry's blogging because this actually corresponds to the Team Cherry holiday sign-off blog posted December 13th, 2019. So it's been quite a while since this was posted, but you can see TCHSO, Team Cherry holiday sign-off, December 13th, 2019. And then they have this SDP2P3S6W. So <laughs> that... As soon as you see the SDP, you're probably gonna look at the headers here in bold. You see Silk Song Development Progress, that corresponds to SDP, 2P, second paragraph. And then we have the third sentence and the sixth word. So we can look through sentence one, two, third sentence right here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this, sixth word is foes okay and that corresponds to the fragment which is wxyz so we look at the code wxyz and we look at foes they're the same number of characters so we know that w corresponds to f x corresponds to o e corresponds to y and s corresponds to z so we can take that and we can look at all the other letters, which are at this point blank, but we can say the W corresponds to F, Y corresponds to E, so fur, X, O, Oceus, O's, okay? And that is the code that we end up getting from that sequence. But we don't have anything to do with that yet because what does ferocious foes even mean? Now, <laughs> There is one more step. So there is a trailer for Hollow Knight, which was released in November 19th, 2015, quite some time ago. <laughs> uh, 
and it's called the Ferocious Foes trailer. This is one of the first trailers released for the game. So people, of course, found out about this and started going through the trailer. And we can see the next part of the riddle asks for a speaker of a certain piece of dialogue. It says, I can't help, dot, dot, dot. So who speaks this? So we can go through the trailer and you'll see Quirrell starts off this dialogue, I can't help. But notice the nail you wield. So it's asking for the speaker, Quirrell. So we get Quirrell, and there's an enum. So an enum is kind of like uh, enumer enumeration. It's something used in programming. So we take the characters in Quirrell, and they correspond to the numbers. So Q is equal to 1, U is equal to 2, I is equal to 3, R4, E5, and L is 6. OK? So we use this enum and we plug it into S123B. OK, so we remember 1 is Q, so SQ, 2 is U, so SQU, then I is 3, so SQUIB. That is the word we end up with for this second to last step. OK, yeah. <laughs> what the heck does squib even mean? Squib is actually something that pops up in the Hollow Knight game. So it's not in the trailer, but it's actually in the gameplay. Squib is something that the hunter refers to the Hollow Knight as. So in the very first encounter you have with the hunter, he refers to the vessel as Tiny Squib. Okay, and that's how you know that squib corresponds to the hunter. Okay, now what is a female version of a hunter? Well, it's a huntress. And that is the final solution to the riddle. Okay, so you can see you take all of that and you just type in Huntress into the archive and open it up and you get the contents of the archive. So these are Silk Song spoilers, so close your eyes if you don't want to see them. Um, but I I'm going to be talking either way, so closing your eyes probably won't help too much. But you just take these outside and we first get a description. So this is you can see there's quotations, so this is something that a character is saying. So, Spider, your stench is strange yet similar. Have you come bearing the organs of others, or would you offer your own? Gift your shells warm insides as a sweet feast for my brood's birth meal. <laughs> so this is an introduction. So this is the first time you're talking to a character. And they say that the character is strange yet similar. So Spider is referring to Hornet. This is something that we kind of figured out because Hornet obviously has a relation to Hera, who has a relation to spiders. And, you know, if you've ever been in Beast Den, you know, spiders are everywhere. Us speedrunners know that very well because we hate those spiders. So Hornet is being called Spider by this person. And... This person also seems to know someone related to Hornet, perhaps. And they're looking for something from Hornet. So this character is probably the Huntress. <laughs> so we are thinking that maybe there's some kind of Hunter's journal in Silk Song. But maybe it's also different in Silk Song. Maybe you have to give this NPC something, organs of others. <laughs> maybe you collect people's organs and just give it to this NPC and get something in return. But this is the introductory uh, statement that the character gives to Hornet. And this is a description of the character. A towering old predator awaiting her children to come. So she's given birth to children. She's got eggs around her. You can see that in the picture when I get to it. Though her attention is fixed on her task, she seems to know much about the waning state of Farloom. 
scorning the citadel above and the hapless pilgrims that make their ascent towards it. <laughs> so that's a description of this character. And let's actually show you what this character looks like. So really cool character design. I love the shading. And she's a bug. And she's enormous. She's just absolutely monstrous compared to the Vessel and Hornet, the playable characters. And let me show you this GIF as well. Because this was a part of the archive. So you can see Hornet walks into the room and she cutely kind of looks over at Hornet. Um, and yeah, this character is obviously sitting atop some eggs. This is the brood that she was talking about. And I'm kind of interested in what kind of role this character is going to play in Silk Song. Is it going to be just giving Hornet the Hunter's Journal or the version of Hunter's Journal within Silk Song? It's not entirely clear, but I am curious if you are giving that character something perhaps and what kind of secrets that this character has. So yeah, I think that's honestly it for this video. Um, Leth has been doing multiple riddles like this, so there have been other riddles in the past, but this is the first uh, riddle where we actually got content, where we got spoilers for Silk Song as a result. And I'm looking forward to more riddles. And if there are more with more spoilers, I will be talking about them. I will promise you that. So smash that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more content like this. And let me know what you thought of this video because it is something that's kind of new for me going over lore. I know nothing about lore. I'm just a speedrunner, but I did kind of want to show this off to all of you because it is pretty interesting. And I am super excited for Silk Song, just as I'm sure all of you are. <laughs> so have a great day, everyone. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>